so far, I have a really good coffee made by Sam. You had a good rest. I had a good rest, slept well, woke up refreshed, and now I'm ready to fish. Picked you up well. You're in my luxury vehicle. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The good old, the good old Rogue. Yeah, this thing is, this thing's sweet. Oh, some mule deers. Oh, I've never focused on them. Just some blurry mule deers. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. people know what they look like. Yeah, yeah, deer. They just look like deer. Yeah. Use your imagination. <laughs> I'm going to attempt a low hole rob. Back, his name's not Rob. And I attempt a low hole. Um, Noah, real quick, I saw some rising down here. Look, 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 look. You did this. <laughs> like my jacket. This is my car. The tail lights broke. Saw rise again. Open Sesame. the car. Looks good. <laughs> You guys can see on the right here a bunch of fish. And when you can't see them, they're not coming completely out of the water, which means they're definitely eating on the mergers. Right so we're throwing a purple haze buzz ball so I can see them. Catches a larger fish with the double hand rod down there. We have to go to work in about 45 minutes. Oh my gosh. Look at all those. Okay, bye. Okay, we've come all the way to Missouri to find this giant. I went up here. There's a few fish rising on emergers right up here. Giants. Like this dude. This dude right here. Little rainbow. Seven inches. We've caught fish number number two, little brown trout. Also ate the emerger. We hope we can catch one bigger fish than this, but at least we're catching some fish. Good way to start the day before work. But I just wanted to show you guys really quick what I'm using is a focus so this is a purple haze buzz ball just on the front I'm having to shake it out quite a bit in powder just to keep it dry so I can see but they're mostly just eating uh, this small I think it's a, called a Briandon from uh, it's a little bluing pattern I think they'd had any bluing emerger really at this point, but the big thing with this 
is just to not gink it and let it sink to subsurface. And I'm using 4X, so I'm getting a few denials, but I like using 4X because I'm in Missouri, you know, chance of a 20 to 22 inch fish is possible. And uh, I just don't want to have to take too long to fight them. And plus we got a big current line right after where all these fish are rising, so. Um, I want to make sure I can land them quick in this soft water before we get uh, down into, into this. I don't think no one knows I'm catching them up here. I tried to call to him, but he seems focused. All right, we just landed. We just landed fish number three here before work. Another brown trout. Still pretty small, only like 12 to 14 inches. But again, ate the blue wing merger. I did, yeah, I caught it on a good old Samuel tied on fly on the swing. It was fun. You caught some though, right? You caught a few. On dries? Yeah, it's 9.45, so get your weight oh, up. Sorry. We gotta go yeah, to work. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Damn, I forgot. Uh, guys, thanks for watching. We uh, gotta open the fly shop here in 30 minutes and we're 45 minutes away from town, so. Uh, I'm gonna have to make my car go faster Quick, vroom, vroom. than that's gonna want to. Cool. But Sweet. Thanks for watching, and this is Noah. Noah. And you can visit him at the fly shop in Great Falls. Sam, you're in there too, often. I'm in there sometimes, but uh. Sweet. Yeah, it's a windy day on the Missouri. No blue wings yet, still midges. Although there's blue wings on the lower river, so it'll just be a couple more days. Yeah, we're so close to the bugs. Bugs. All right, I can't think of what else to say. Oh, good luck. Safe travels. I like it. I like it too. It's not, these are my boots. Yeah, yeah. Those are your boots. I go with the non-sole. The non sole corker? Yeah. Better than felt. Yeah. No felt. No rubber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no rubber.